up kissed and groped a worker at a Louisville gas station while he was on duty. Now the city is paying for it. Tonight, the video, the settlement, and the victim talking only to WDRB investigator Gilbert Corsi. I love the guests. I love the feeling you get to know the community around you. Amory Taylor's has worked for Thornton's eight years, but it's two days on the job. I try to black that out a little bit. From two years ago? The things he did doesn't make sense to me. But still haunt her. He definitely abused his bat. March 11, 2020. That's Officer Robert Neff seen in security footage, briefly tying Taylor's hands behind her back with plastic wrap at the Thornton's gas station off Bardstown Road near Fern Creek. Taylor says he came in often as officers received free coffee and drinks and this was just the beginning of the harassment. He wanted to give me a hug so he side hugged and then he kissed me on my cheek which at that point I told people you know I'm uncomfortable around him like this is not something I'm wanting to pursue. Did you have any kind of relationship with Robert? No. Now? He tried to give me his number several times but honestly I trashed him. The next day Neff returned and police reports say he stayed more than two hours while on duty. He just like kind of kept following me around. It's here in the back storage area in two separate incidents that Neff gropes Taylor. He claimed to be faking a search. It was grabbing my down between my shirt was trying to rub up against my leg area and the whole time like the woman that I was training was in front of me watching it and she's like you shouldn't do that you shouldn't do that and I'm just sitting there because he made me put my hands behind my back and restrained me to where I couldn't move what is going through your mind in those moments why me why did he see me as the vulnerable person to come into my safe place of work and try to take advantage of me in any way he could. I just really didn't understand the whole situation because it wasn't something I had tried to partake in before. I didn't take your number. I didn't try to do anything but be cordial with people and nice. Taylor says she felt angry, scared, and helpless. Like, is this going to affect my job and how I provide for me and my family? Neff was charged criminally. He cut a plea deal confessing to sexual misconduct and official misconduct, misdemeanors that came with probation, but no time behind bars. He then quit LMPD. I don't think that he should have had a right to resign. I think he should have been fired. Metro government just paid Taylor $55,000, a small piece of LMPD's big settlement pie. The city spent more than $40 million to settle police misconduct cases in the last five years. Recently, it agreed to pay $2 million to Breonna Taylor's boyfriend. I lost everything in this situation, not just only the person I loved more than anybody in this world. And another $1.8 million to three women who accused former detective Brian Bailey of sexual abuse. If the cops were just doing what they should, do, that money could be used towards so much different things in our city and for our children and different things. Like, that's a lot of money to send out for people doing inappropriate things. Louisville lost its excess insurance provider, the kind that covered the most high dollar payouts. Because of the large numbers of payouts that we have, um, that um, Outside insurance carriers look at the city of Louisville and say, no, I, I don't think so. It means these settlements for policing problems now fall more on taxpayers. Taylor believes more stringent mental health testing could be a solution. Because if they're mentally unstable, they're going to act out and do mentally unstable things to people who don't deserve it at all. Do you feel like you got justice? I feel like I got the justice that I was able to handle mentally. I didn't feel like mentally I could take this to trial and try to fight it anymore. Gilbert Horsey reporting there. Neither Neff's attorney nor LMPD responded to our request for comment.